Hey everyone, welcome back to my python tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you, how to dictionary attack, a zip file in python. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss any of my tutorials in the future. A dictionary attack, is a method of breaking a password, by entering every word in a dictionary as a password. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this tutorial, we will use PyZip library, to work with the zip file. To install the library, open command prompt window, and type. pip install pyzipper, then press enter. We will also use tqdm library, to show a progress bar, while it tries to find the password. To install it, type pip install tqdm, then press enter. In case of dictionary, I am going to use a solid 133 MB famous rocku.txt dictionary. You can use any other dictionary you want. If you want to use the same dictionary as mine, I will put its link to download in the description. So, let's start to write the code. Open your IDE, then you are good to follow along. We will first start by importing the required libraries. Import tqdm, from tqdm library. Also, import the pyzipper library. Now, we will declare a boolean variable, and set its value to false. We will use it, as a condition, to print the results. Now, we will define a function, that will print the name of files, inside the zip file. It will take a zip file as an argument. We will use AES zip file method, of pyzip library, to work with our zip file. We will pass our zip file to it. We will use for loop, to print the name of files in the list, generated by the name list function. Let's call the function now. Pass your zip file to it. In my case, it is secret.zip. Let's test this program. Make sure, you save the program, in the same directory, as your zip, and dictionary file is in, to avoid any complications. As you can see, it printed the names of all files in the zip. Now, jot down name of any one file. I will jot, 0.jpg file. We will use this file name to raise an exception, whenever a password doesn't find a match. Time to declare another function, where we will perform dictionary attack. It will take a zip file, and a dictionary file, as the arguments. Let's get total number of words, present in the dictionary, and print it. It will be equal to, length of list of words in dictionary.
We are opening the dictionary file, in read-only binary mode. We will again, use the AES zip file method here. We will again, open the dictionary file, in read-only binary mode. Now, we will iterate through all the words in dictionary file. Here, we will use the TQDM library, to show the progress bar. We will pass the dictionary file to it, along with other arguments. We will use its total, and unit parameters. Let's decode the word, and strip off the white spaces at the beginning. Now, we will use try except and else block, to check for the password. We will try to extract a file from zip, with a password. We will use the extract function, to extract the earlier jotted file. We will also pass the password, as another argument. The password must be in bytes, so we encode it with Unicode 8 codec. This function, raises an exception, whenever a wrong password is supplied. So, in this case, we will just continue to run the program, and look for the next word. The else block gets executed, when, there is no exception. This would be in case, the password supplied is correct. We will change the value of our boolean variable, to true, and, break out of the loop. Time to print the password. We will use if condition, to print it. If the value of our boolean variable is true, we will print the password, else, we will print, password not found. Lastly, we need to call the function, and pass the required arguments to it. Time to run the program.
If you want a clean UI, I recommend you to run the program using command line, since they support the progress bars. To run the program using command line, type Python, your Python file name, with py extension. As you can see, it printed the password, after 11,445 attempts, in almost 30 seconds. Since, you have the password of zip file now, you can use any third party software, or even Python, to extract its contents. So, that's all for today. Hope, you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and, subscribe to my channel, so you won't miss my tutorials in the future. I will see you next time.